Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercress, and welcome back to Let's Play The Lone Ranger for the Nintendo Entertainment System. In the last video, we had to go through Native American country, and we had to prove that we were trustworthy in order to get through it, and that means going through a mountain, picking up an eagle egg, and returning it to the chief. Now, we're going to go to Abilene to meet Clara. And Abilene is right here. We are indeed in Abilene. So here's the station. To the east of that is the gun shop. And north of that is the doctor. So in case you're looking for any of the usual services that you want to get well now you know where they are and I am good on ammo so let's go to the south although I could talk to people here the women who usually walk around outside usually don't have an idea about anything they never have an idea about anything just like all the other outside NPCs that I usually see this guy tells you, we just built a new railroad. Our town is really booming. Well, we are in Wyoming. And they're bringing some much needed stuff over there, I'm imagining. Yes, we know about Bush Cavendish. And if you go to this house, you'll find out where Clara is. Clara lives in the northern part of this town. She's a real beauty and a good worker. Be careful going north, there are enemies there. And there's also enemies over here, too. Let's see how much money I can get. I can definitely need the money. And I'm surprised I avoided that bullet. And there is a saloon here. Did everything work out well? Well, I don't know yet. I haven't seen Clara. We just built a new... Oh, yeah, we know about that already. Oh, and you can find out that Clara lives in the north here, too. Interesting. You can't talk to this woman at the bar there, so don't even try. Who are you? Why are you wearing a mask? Usual NPC banter, but you can find out where Clara is along this part of the town as well. Now we need to go north, and once again, we need to be careful. At least I can shoot enemies down from a good distance away, thanks to the long-barreled guns that we bought a couple of videos ago and that was something I believe you have to go into this house and Clara isn't there this is the house that you need to go to you can't really explore anything instead you just have to come in walk around and then go back apparently Clara's bed is not even made or at least is crawled out of as carefully as possible when you leave though Look, Kimosabe, a threat from Butch. He writes, If you want to save Clara's life, you'd better stop chasing me. Yeah, fat chance of that happening. I can tell you that right now. So, you're probably wondering what to do from here. Aside from shooting some guys down that are coming at us from the south because reasons and taking their money because we're gonna need it well we need to go back to the house with the NPC that told us where Claire is because if you do that I hear that an informant's at Pike's Peak okay I guess not oh wait wait that is the house that's your clue as to where to go next you do have to go to that house Forget I said that that was a bad idea. You still need to go to that house to find out, hey, there's an informant at Pike's Peak. And Pike's Peak is to the north. So, let us go to the north. Now, be careful at Pike's Peak. There are pretty much a good amount of enemies here, and you don't have the services here that you do in Abilene. 
these days, many foreign people come here to work in the mine. Speaking of the mine, there is the mine office that we passed by, that little brown building that said office on it. Remember that building for later. And if you go in, if you went in there, he would have asked, the guy inside would have asked you, hey, would you like to work in the mine? These days, there are many strangers drifting in and out of these parts. We need to look for the informant. And we also need to be careful because some of these enemies will really come after us. Some of the enemies move pretty fast. Like that guy. And that guy. The really fast guys take two hits to kill. Keep that in mind. And I need to shoot you down while I still can. Surprised I only took one hit there. And couldn't get away from that guy as well as I would have liked, but I got away from him anyway. Now, you want to go in here. And I believe you want to talk to this guy. If you want to go to the mine, you should ask at the mine office in Abilene for directions. You actually have to talk to this guy, or else you won't know where to go next. And we just got here. Can I talk to this guy? We just got here. About to say, I know I could do that in a practice run. Why am I getting no results with the A button now? Well, we know where to go now. And it is back to Abilene. So let us find out where we're in Pike's Peak for one and no you are not doing anything why are you chasing after me also that was the exit why am I going in that direction can I'm wondering if the enemies can kill the NPCs that are outside I know you can but I don't know if any of the enemies can do it Okay, you say nothing else. I just decided to check just for the sake of checking. Alright. We need to head back to Abilene. And from here, we need to make our way further to the south. And then keep making our way to the east. This will let us get to the mine office that I told you about earlier. Hopefully. Or maybe I'm convinced confusing that with maybe I'm maybe I am confusing it with the pie peaks but we'll see no we do have to go in this direction after all no dang it okay need to remember where everything is okay we had to go further to the south that's where it is this is where we need to go next the mine office and if you talk to this guy Music changes and you find out where things are. The, line, the mine is located in the northern mountain. We're going to have to go there. But first, I need to go ahead and refill on some things. And some stuff. First of all, we're going to need our bullets. Because we used quite a few just to get the information that we did. Okay, I'm full on everything else. All I really need to do now is just... Do you mind? All we really need to do now is just go to the doctor. And get back to full health just in case. Because I'm going to need it. And you guys seem to not be able to leave well enough alone. Alright. Alright. Thankfully, the exit isn't very far from the shops, so we can just go ahead and use them. We can just go ahead and use the exit. And from here, we need to go up this northern road and go where this star is. And we need to be very careful with the guys throwing the ninja stars. Yes, these guys show shurikens. Ninja stars, what have you. 
and you have to jump over them. You can't duck under them because that doesn't work. You will take damage. Also, there are falling stalactites on some of the ceilings. You do want to watch out for those. Also, there's another guy to the right who throws shurikens, but if you keep moving to the left, the shurikens will eventually disappear. They have a very limited range. Also, that guy running at us had a sword. That wasn't fun. And this guy in blue takes two hits to kill. Let's see if we can get to this guy and take care of this. Oh my word. Actually, you know what? I didn't want to do this, but now that the game is left him with no choice, I'm going to have to do this. All right, let's keep on jumping. That way we can get the heart that this guy leaves. And then we can continue on from here. Make sure this guy does not have the sword. And then be careful on the platforms because this thing stops just short of the edge on both sides. And this guy takes two hits to kill. If they're wearing green, they take one hit. If they're wearing blue, they take two. Keep that in mind always. And I don't need to take this guy's cash, but I am going to take the long way away from him just to be on the safe side a little bit. How about... And we're definitely going to be seeing enemies take, that take two hits to the feet here. Ow. It pays to get rid of them as quickly as possible. And you're going to be a pain in the butt. Why am I going direct, direct in that direction? There's nothing there. Jump when you can. Be careful when you must. And something tells me that there's going to be a guy who's going to try to kill me when I go up here. I want to shoot him. With the silver bullets. I want to get him off the ceiling with one shot. And I want to be sure that I'm doing it from a good distance away. So the Molotov's cocktails don't hit me. And then I can just keep shooting him from there. For your information, we've got Claire in our hideout. Oh boy. I wonder where that hideout is. Well. If we head towards Abilene, we find out. Once again, it's time to get loaded up on stuff. I want to go to the doctor first. I really want to go to the doctor first. And you can stop throwing knives. Even when you're in a town, you're not safe. And you just really need to know where enemies are going to be. Okay. We need to head back to the gun shop and load up on our ammo. Because we're going to need it. And we are now loaded up. All we need to do now is just exit and then go back to where that star was. We can do that. We can do what we need to do. And we need to be very careful around here. Jump on this. And we're going to have to wait a little while because of how these platforms are. So these little brown, these little black lines in the wall, so to speak, this is where the platforms are going to be. And we need to just... Be mindful of the fact that different platforms move at different speeds. And that they all look like they come straight out of Castlevania. Ow. And I need to take care of that guy from underneath. That way he's not much of a problem. And it's a good thing that I loaded my ammunition so that way that didn't become a problem. And these things... 
They look like a trap straight out of Castlevania. How did that not hurt me? And I need to take care of this guy. That's not going to do it. Okay. That guy's going to keep throwing stuff. That is not how I wanted to do that. Dang it. And I really need to be careful taking care of guys on the ceiling. Because they are going to hit me whether I want them to or not. And this guy is going to try to hit me too. Ugh. Enemies are definitely getting harder. And the guys who hang on the ceilings as well as the walls... Well, I don't know the wall, the wall guys do it, but the ceiling guys throw a three-way shot, and that can be a pain. I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh, it's this guy. I'm thinking of another... Oh my gosh, how did I do that? So, this guy. Apparently we have ninjas now, and you're too late, Lone Ranger. I already sent her away to San Jacinto. San Jacinto is another town to the... What is it? To the... East. And... We gotta head there. Also, that boss that we fought, apparently we have ninjas now, and for that guy, you just kind of had to be like a good distance away, and you just got to be ready to jump over the shurikens while firing the silver bullets. The silver bullets will go through the clones that the guy makes, but the purple, the guy in purple is the guy you really want to kill. He just stands there and lets his clones do the work, but if you're constantly firing at him and his clones with silver bullets and you're able to jump over these sur shurikens quite well, you can easily take care of them. Kimosabe, hurry up. We must rescue Clara from that wagon. And we need to take care of the enemies here. I need to get the health. Shoot the man, please. There we go. It's a good thing I was able to get the health. I needed the health. And the game was not going to let me heal at that point. Alright, we're now at full health now. That's a really good thing. As we're going through another horseback shooting section. Thankfully, we kind of have a good grasp of what to do here. And from here, we need to keep heading to the right. We may run into another one, maybe... No, we didn't. We managed to get to the right just in time. There's Je San Jacinto. But first, I want to load up on stuff. I am glad that I was able to get through that very well and not have to spend $50 on treatment from the doctor. All right. And let's get our silver bullets because I know I'm going to need them. All right. And I am getting close to 20 minutes here. So I'm going to head all the way to San Jacinto. And then we're going to close this video out. So Claire is now being held in San Jacinto. We need to go in there and we need to rescue her. But how is that going to go? Join me next time, and we'll find out. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!